hello this is Joe Neville in this video I'm going to set up name resolution for my home lab using DNS mask now I've written all of this up on my dev page here I've got all of the requirements that I needed uh, the steps that I've taken and the config files so in this video I'm just going to run through this content I'll stick a link to this document in the description to start with then, DNS Mask, uh, as described here, uh, provides network infrastructure for small networks. So it can provide DNS, um, DHCP, you've got some V6 functionality there as well with root advertisement. But I am just focusing on DNS in this video. That's all I needed. I don't need DHCP. I'm using static addressing. Here I have SSH'd onto my two servers. I've given them names based upon their role. So this one is name-1 and this is server-2. Name-1 is going to be the name server and this is the one that I install DNS mask onto and server-2 is just there as an additional server for testing which I'm going to prove that name resolution is working on this small network. Now I am using static addressing and for that I have used Netplan, and I know some people really don't like Netplan, but it seems like Ubuntu is nudging us towards that, so I thought I would use it. Let's have a look at the Netplan configuration then. I've already applied this. Okay, so we've got the interface there. I've turned off DHCP v4. I've got my v4 and my v6 address. I'm just focusing on v4 for this. DNS mask does support full v6 apparently, even though I haven't tested it yet. I've got my default gateway for v4 and v6. Then I have my name server. I've got my search for the domain for this network. It's going to be zola.home. And I've got the address of an external server. Looking on server two, because this is different and important. Different IP addresses, of course. The search details are the same, but the address, the 192.168.1.20, that address is for this device. So you have to point the other servers to your name server of course and this name server will resolve the external name resolution by forwarding it on to the external dns server i'll prove that all in the testing stage okay let's clear that move this across because this is the one that we're going to focus on i've already done a sudo apt update and upgrade let's dive into the dns mask install then Just using the package for this. Okay, and the point here is that this will fail. So it will install the package and try to start the service. This will fail because the resolved service is still running on port 53. So that's a DNS port that is in use. Okay, that's not a problem. We're going to sort that out now. And we do that by stopping the existing service, this system D, resolve D, which is using the port 53. So I stop that with sudo systemctl stop and then the name of the service. And I am going to disable that. Plus, I'm going to go an extra step and remove the etc. resolve.conf file. So this is where the system would normally look for a name server. We want to remove that. And I did see some videos and guides which still used this file, which you can do. But you'll see that I've chosen to handle everything in the DNS mask configuration. So there's some configuration steps for that file to ensure that everything is working correctly. I've removed that file then. And the next step is to configure the dnsmask.conf file, which is in the default place. mask.conf, which is here on the etc. dnsmask.conf. I'll just dive in and configure the default file. There's a lot here. It's all commented out, so you can just pick up the configuration and really get a lot of information from this file but here's what i need to configure and i've added in so i've copied from here 
to consolidate this, uh, some notes for each one of these lines. Just going through those then, domain dash needed so we don't forward on plain names, ones that don't have a domain that hits this server. I've turned off DHCP. I'm not using DNS mask for DHCP at all. You turn it off on an interface there. Uh, bogus priv is to never forward addresses for the non-routable address space. So RFC 1918, keep that local. Now these two commands work together. Expand host will add a domain to the host names and you specify the domain here with this domain equals. As I previously mentioned, Zola.home is my domain here. And then you set the local domain which the etc host file will serve with the local equals command. Now this is the point about the etc resolve. Here I'm saying don't use that file. I've deleted it. But get the external name servers from this file. And that works. So that's like a twin with this command here which is server equals. I'm just using 8.8.8.8. .8 you can add extras in there for redundancy. This is just some pretty quick and dirty configuration. So I will save that, clear that off. The next step is to tell the name server the name and address resolutions and those are hosted in the etc host file. Here we are. I'll get rid of this line and I've just got the two hosts. Dot 20 is local and dot 21 is server dash two. Fine. Now we start DNS mask. No errors there. You can check the status, of course. Fingers crossed for green. Okay, active and running. And it tells us here we're using the name server 8.8.8.8. .8 using local addresses only for domain zola.home. All looks good. Oh, and so that this will start up when I, on first boot, I will enable that service. Okay, and that is it. So let's test then. I'll go arubanetworks.com for my external test. Okay, good, that is working. Ping locally, okay, good. And finally, server dash, it's dash two, isn't it? Yep, okay, and I can ping server dash two. We can add in the fully qualified name as well. Yep, that's all working. Let's jump over to server two then. I'll ping externally. Oh, actually, I should show you because I haven't installed DNS mask on server dash two. You only need to install it on one server. And that means that this by default is still using the system D resolved service. And what that means is that you can enter the command resolve CTL status. If we scroll down you'll see that the current DNS server is 1.20 there that being name dash one and the DNS domain zola.home good clear that off okay ping rubernetworks.com that's working so we've got external via name dash one let's ping name dash one then okay excellent and it's resolved to name dash one zola.home and we're getting the successful response from name dash one itself 192.168.1.20 is replying okay that was setting up lightweight dns resolution in a small network using dns mask i like this approach because it's well it's in the name isn't it it's lightweight it's only a few lines of configuration you've got the config files so it'd be quite easy to automate this as well by templating the net plan and templating the dns mask configuration then you've just got a few commands that you need to enter into Ubuntu and where I'm taking this is that I'm setting up a public key infrastructure using OpenSSL. Look out for future videos where I delve deeper into that one. Okay so thanks very much for watching I hope you found that useful. My name is Joe Neville and goodbye.